When the animation involves crowds of people, for example, an army of soldiers, an army of orcs like Lord of the Rings, or uh, anything that requires basically massive amount of uh, elements moving at the same time, it could be even insets or, uh, you know, anything that really is, is a very high number, there is an extra department that comes into play, which is the crowd department. And the crowd department also goes to the to the lighting as well. The crowd departments can take animation clips, uh, for example, a simple walking walking clip or a running or a fighting clip, and then they can combine these clips into their characters that are part of their crowd. So it's also uh, correlated to the animation department as well. So as you can see, all the, all, the, all the departments basically flow into the lighting department. It means that the lighting department cannot be done with their job if all the other departments have not delivered their stuff. And this is very important to understand because it means that the lighting guys are always the, the last um, ring of the chain. And what does the lighting department do? So the lighting department combines all these elements together and makes sure that they work visually work together properly in a realistic way. In the visual effects production, the lighting needs to match the set lighting. So the virtual environment that is uh, uh, made in the, in the de in digital department needs to be lit the same way as the real uh, plate has been lit unless there is a special request from the clients or from the director or there is special occasions which we will talk about when we go into detail of the lighting. So what uh, we do as lighters we place the lights in the scene to make sure that each element is interacting properly uh, with each other and also matches the real footage uh, lighting. Obviously, there is a lot of creative uh, uh, control that we have. Um, it depends a lot on the production, on the kind of shot. In feature animation, it's uh, more of an artistic job. In uh, visual effects, it's a little bit more of a technical job because you have something you have to match to very closely. Nowadays, the visual effects movies has so much uh, computer graphics that basically sometimes only the actors are real in the plate and everything else is, is digital so it really depends on the visual effects uh, supervisor or the uh, director and uh, it's more of a creative choice at that point. So the lighting department makes sure that all these elements are uh, realistically combined together and they work together so shadowing, uh, lights, uh, um, visual look and the realism of the scene is basically generated uh, through the lighting department and the lighting department then makes renders so the computer basically elaborates uh, the lights so that the, uh, the result of the interaction between uh, the lights and the materials of the objects uh, uh, results in a realistic image and uh, the lighting departments also split the scene into different layers, into different elements that are then composited by the compositing department, which is the next department of the list. The compositing department does tweaks uh, on the lighting renders and also adds a lot of uh, uh, elements on top of the blade, like for example smoke that is not as complex to be uh, given to the effects departments, they can add it in comp, comp stays for compositing, and, uh, or uh, for example dust, or a lot of the small things that basically increase the realism of the image are done by the comp department. And there is another department that doesn't always uh, exist in the visual effects facilities, which is the environment department. And this is a specialized department where uh, artists use projections and slash uh, painting uh, to create virtual worlds. That would require too much work um, to be done with the standard pipeline, so modeling, texturing and uh, 
and um, look dating. So most of the time the, the environment department takes the simplified geometry or the match move geometry that has been scanned on the set and uh, projects pictures or paintings onto this uh, uh, geometry to make it look real and integrate it uh, in the shot. And then this uh, renders, this uh, um, environment is passed onto comp and comp blends it with the rest of the element. So the comp department is obviously the last one to finish the movie and it's usually the one that, I, that also makes the longest hours because obviously it's at the very very end of the chain and if lighting is late because other departments are late obviously comp cannot finish as well so it becomes a very complex situation where each department is really connected to each other through the lighting department as well and then through the comp department lighting cannot finish without the proper models without with the textures and the look there and uh, it cannot finish if in that shot there is a effects or a crowd and it cannot finish if there is a character animation and it cannot even start if there is no camera made by match move through the layout so uh, it's a very complicated uh, ecosystem, <laughs> the visual effects production, that needs to work as a one thing. It might be a cleanup department. What the cleanup uh, department does is basically painting on the images to fix smaller things, smaller errors, smaller mistakes. This was very common in the animation in the past years. It's a little bit less common these days because we have a lot of tools to and the power to also re-render stuff. So go back and uh, fix the problems and then recompute the images. But it's uh, something that is still happens in, uh, in uh, some facilities, in some visual effects companies. And after that's done, is basically the visual effects company work is done and all the images are packaged and given to the digital intermediate department that does the final grade with the director and the director of photography. So as you can see the pipeline is quite complicated and uh, there is a lot of things that needs to work together and there is a lot of communication that needs to happen and a lot of times there is problems because there is lack of communication between the departments because everybody is busy and it's, uh, it's, be, it's, it's always complicated to have that many people uh, basically working together. Now one thing that I want to say before closing is that um, when you are in smaller companies there isn't that much specialization between the departments. You might be a generalist um, that basically does a little bit of everything and you understand that uh, there is a lot involved to create a final shot and as a generalist you need to know uh, quite a bit of each discipline in order to basically deliver the shot. Um, usually people start as a generalist even though some of the schools that are around have an introductional year and then they specialize the artist to do a specific thing. Otherwise, as a generalist, you are required to do a little bit of everything. Uh, myself, I started as a modeler, uh, but really I was a generalist because I was doing freelancing uh, for commercials and uh, uh, TV animation and things like that. So. I was really uh, taking care of everything, modeling, animating, rigging and uh, look deming and everything, everything else. While you grow in the production you can choose and pick a specialty or if you like something right away and you know that for example you like to be an animator you can just go straight into animation and you don't really need to know uh, a lot of the other things even though it, I think it's always better to know a little bit of each discipline or for example if you want to just do uh, effects you don't really need to know how to rig even though that, that will be helpful. Um, and if you want to do uh, lighting or look dev, you don't really need to know how to do, to do effects. So, you know, it, the nice thing of this kind of job is that there is a lot of different uh, figures, a lot of different specialties that you can choose from. If you like to be more artistic, then you can do texturing or look dev or lighting. If you are more technical, you can do rigging or effects. Uh, and so forth and so on. So that's it for today. I hope this video clarifies uh, how complex is the visual effects pipeline and um, 
uh, I wanna also thank you guys for subscribing to this channel and sharing this video with your friends. In uh, the next episode, I will go through each department and I will tell you which software are mostly used in each department so that you can have an idea of what is better to start studying in order to uh, start your uh, job as a visual effects artist. And also I wanna thank you all the people that brought me, uh, telling me their ideas about this channel. Um, I invite you to comment down below and to share this channel with your friends uh, that might be interested and uh, please let me know what you want to know about visual effects and uh, if you have questions I'm happy to answer as well and then uh, I'll see you next week bye